Hi, this is David Williams from the Electronic Engineering Technology Department at Okanagan College and today I want to show you some examples on how to do some binary subtraction. And really binary subtraction is no different from regular subtraction except that it's only using a base 2 number system instead of a base 10 number system. So we actually it makes it even a little bit simpler because there's only two bits we have to deal with instead of 10 digits. So what I'm going to do is show a few examples Oops. There we go. Um, so, I guess the, uh, before we get into some examples, the, the, I guess the, the basic subtractions that you're going to be doing will be 1 minus 1, of course, is equal to 0. You might be doing 1 minus 0, which is going to be equal to 1. You might be doing 0 minus 0, which is, of course, equal to 0. And then you might be doing 0 minus 1, which is equal to negative 1, of course, but we're going to start off with not dealing with negative numbers when we get into negative number representations, and we can do negative numbers. But what we're going to have to do if we have 0 minus 1 is we're going to have to borrow from a, from a, a more significant column. And to start off with, I mean, just, just to give you an idea of, of borrowing, let's say we have the number... 32, and we want to subtract 9 from it, right? Well, we're, this is so we're doing base 10 subtraction. So if we want to subtract 32, 32 subtract 9, we're doing it. We do the things column by column, just like what we'll do in base 2. So we're in, uh, doing it column by column. We got 2 minus 9. Well, we can't do 2 minus 9. So what we have to do is go over to this column. We have to borrow 1 from that column. Put that back to 2, down to 2, and then we've got over in this column, we've got 12 minus 9. So that's going to give us 3. And then we got 2 minus 0, 23. So that, that was that was the effect of borrowing. Or that's borrowing. And in, in base 2 number system subtraction, we're going to also do borrowing. So start off with a, a really simple example. We got 1, 0. And what happened there? Oh. Clear. Let's try again. 1, 0, minus 1. Now this is this is a really simple example. And you can see 1, 0, minus 1. This is something that you're going to come across all quite a bit when you're doing, doing binary subtraction. And you might think, okay, first column, 0, minus 1, we're going to have to borrow. But what we'll see, we'll borrow 1 from over here, so that leaves it down to 0. And so what we're going to have left over is 1, 0, minus 1. So this is a little bit redundant doing this. And not only is it redundant, but we also, it's kind of repetitive. So we've got 1, 0, minus 1, sorry, terrible joke, is equal to 1. Okay, really straightforward, and just to uh, step it up a little bit, what if we had 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1? Now we're going to have to do some subtraction and, and see some effects of downstream, or more to the more significant columns of, of subtraction. So looking at the first column, 0, minus 1, well, we're going to have to go and borrow over here. So we're going to borrow 1 from over there, leaves us 0, and over in the first column, we've got 1, 0, minus 1. So 1, 0, minus 1 gives us 1. Move over to the second column, we've got a 0 minus 1 again, so we'll have to borrow from the third column. We borrow 1 from there, that leaves us at 0. We've got 1, 0 in this column, and uh, so 1, 0 minus 1 gives us 1, and then we have 0 over here, so our answer is 1, 1. And to just do a quick check, convert our, our binary into decimal, 1, 1, 0 is equal to 6, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 3, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3, 3 is equal to 1, 1. Okay, everything checks out there. Now, one more example of binary subtraction to do a few few rounds of, of borrowing. What if we have the number 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and we want to subtract 1, 1, 0 from it? Okay, first row, first column, I should say, 1 minus 0 is 1. Second column, 0 minus 1. Well, we can't do it. Let's go to the next column. Oh, we can't borrow anything from that column, so we've got to go over to the next column. We've got to borrow 1 from that column. So we borrow 1 from that column, leaves us 0 in the column. Gives us 1, 0 in this column. And now we're going to have to borrow from this column. Borrow 1 from it, leaves us 1 in that column. So we've got 1, 0 in this column. 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 1 minus 1 minus 0 is 1. So the number 11001 minus 110 is equal to 10011. And 
one. You can do a quick check to see. 11001 is equal to 25 in decimal form. 110 is equal to 6 in decimal form. If we subtract 6 from 25, that leaves us 19. 19 in binary form is 10011. So everything checks out. Hopefully this quick introduction to binary subtraction is enough to get you going. And uh, if you have any questions, you can bring them to your instructor.